All right, and the next shoe trend I want to talk about are metallic shoes. This goes without question because metallic has just been huge here, and so of course the shoes would be too. So I'm gonna show, share with you guys a couple of ones that I have. I don't have a lot in my wardrobe, um, but I have more than I thought I did. So the first ones I want to share with you guys are these, and they're just like a metallic booty. And these I've had in my wardrobe for several years. I got these from Ego Shoes. And I love these. I love the block heel because it's very comfortable for me to walk in. So if I'm gonna do a heel, it's gonna be either like a small micro heel like I showed earlier or something like this, like a block heel, something that I can actually walk in and not fear of falling down. So, um, but yeah, so these are just some metallic heels and I just absolutely love these. These are so cute and just so fun, right? Like it just adds a little something and it's like a little pop to your outfit, I feel like. I think that you can wear the super dress, you know, dress down. You can also, you know, obviously dress them up, but I I would prefer to wear something like this dressed down because it is a lot, right? This is this is the prime example of a shoe being a lot um, because it's just so just out there in your face. There's nothing subdued about this shoe at all. So for me, I think I would prefer to wear this kind of shoe dressed down. And when I say dressed down, I mean like with some jeans, um, you know, just to kind of make it, kind of bring it down a little bit or like some joggers or something. Um, but you can, of course, style it up and wear it however you want. But I love these shoes. And I've had, like I said, I've had them in my, my wardrobe for years. And I've been debating about whether or not I want to get um, some knee-high version because I do have some in my cart that um, are on Amazon. I actually have a, like a silver metallic and also a gold metallic that I have in my cart right now. I'm just debating about whether or not I want to go ahead and get them because we are coming up on spring and summer and if I get them, you know, as soon as I get them, I just know the weather's going to just start getting really hot and I'm not going to be able to wear those. So, but of course I can always wear them for the fall and the winter time coming up, but I don't know. They are my, they're in my cart, so I just haven't bit the bullet and went ahead and gotten them yet, but maybe I'll get them because they are so cute. But for now, these will do. So, but yeah, so I have these and then I also have these. These are super fun. These are like a platform type of a shoe or like a platform kind of sneaker a little bit, I guess. These I've had in my wardrobe for years too. These are from Shein. I actually have these in like a pink metallic. I probably should have brought those over and shared those instead of these, but um, just to kind of go with the whole silver metallic because I feel like silver metallic is the metallic that's really been popping right now. So, um, but yeah, so these are actually a dupe of the Stella McCartney ones and they're actually a really good dupe. I say dupe because it doesn't have the Stella McCartney name. So they're not like a replica, but they're a dupe because they don't have Stella McCartney name on these. So, but yeah, so these are so cute. They have like little stars and whatnot on them. So these are just a cute shoe that I can, you know, style up with jeans or skirts and dresses. So, but yeah. Yeah, just to kind of go with that whole silver metallic vibe i love these but yeah i don't know you guys let me know what you think about silver metallic shoes or just metallic shoes in general because i know again it's kind of one of those things that you kind of love or you hate and you definitely have to you have to style them up i feel like style them up just right so that they don't look corny or tacky i don't know maybe that's just me but i love them i think they're fun just a unique way to add a little something to your outfit especially if you know you have a very basic outfit i feel like shoes like that will just kind of take the outfit and elevate it just a little bit so but you guys let me know what you think about metallic shoes down below in the comments so all right so we'll get into the next shoe trend all right and the next shoe trend I want to talk about are embellished shoes and when I say embellished I mean shoes but like cute detail or embellishments really um, so this includes shoes with bows which actually is another which was kind of like another shoe trend, but I decided to just combine these two. Um, so yeah, so shoes with bows, shoes with, you know, little studs and rivets and pearls, just shoes that are just, you know, bedazzled, okay, to the max, okay? So um, the first um, example that I wanna share with you guys are some heels. And these shoes I got from ASOS several years ago, and I think they're just so pretty. I mean, this is just such a, embellished shoe right like this like embellishments pretty much just threw up all over this shoe and it's just a pre such a pretty shoe but it is so uncomfortable so this is kind of a shoe that i would just have in my closet to look at and you know to just you know look at and just stare at because it's so pretty i mean the heel is just just bedazzled and just embellished with like these little crystals and it's just a pretty shoe but like i said i mean you can kind of see why it's uncomfortable i mean look at this arch on there like it's basically like a straight line <laughs> and i can't walk in something like this um it's definitely like a, what i call like a 10 minute shoe like after 10 minutes you're ready to throw these things off but it's pretty to look at right 
Um, but yeah, so this just has like little floral detail all on here. And this kind of can kind of double as like a Mary Jane shoe because it has like this strap here that I was talking about earlier with the Mary Jane. So it's kind of kind of hinting towards the Mary Jane's shoe type of vibe too. Um, and it has like a pointed toe, which I love. So this is a pretty shoe, a very stylish shoe. And I started to, these were popular for a while. Um, and I, back in the day, when I say back in the day, I mean several years ago when these were, you know, trendy several years ago, because these were trendy um, back in like 2016, 17, something like that. And all the fashion girlies were wearing shoes like this, but like jeans. And I was really feeling that, which is why I bought these. So, um, but yeah, so I just think these are just a pretty shoe and um, you know, a fancy shoe that you can dress down with some jeans. I think I love that look. So, um, so these are the first ones that I have. And then I was talking about shoes with bows. So I also have some shoes with bows. I don't think, did I tell you guys where I got those, these heels from? I got these from ASOS. I don't know if I mentioned that or not. Um, these here are just some little flat shoes, some pointed toe flat shoes with bows. These can kind of double, I guess it's like a flat, but I wanted to show these just to show the, like the example of like embellishments or bows. Um, Cause I've been seeing a lot of shoes with bows here lately and I don't have a lot. I don't think I have many in my wardrobe. I think these are probably the only ones I have that have bows on them. And these I got from, I think Misguided. Yeah, I got these from Misguided or probably got them from ASOS and they're from the brand Misguided. But yeah, so they look like this and it's just they look like a witchy shoe. They're very witchy. I don't know. I think the point, I think it's the pointy toe that's kind of making them look kind of witch vibes. But um, I love the like a little bow detail on these. It's just so cute and girly. And you know, these are perfect shoes to wear in the spring and summertime. So, so yeah, so those are one of the examples that I have. And then the other example I have of embellishments, similar to the ones I just showed you, but these have like little pearl details on them. And these I got from Zara. So yeah, so I love these too. And I've worn these, I actually worn these recently um, and style these up. So yeah, so any kind of shoe with any kind of embellishment or any kind of bow on it or any kind of detail that just kind of adds interest to the shoe is super you know, popular and trendy right now. Um, and I love them. I love shoes like that. Like I said, you can be wearing the basic outfit and then your shoes just make the statement. Your, your shoes are the statement piece. And I also like shoes like this because it's like wearing art on your foot. You know, I'm all about, you know, fashion being artistic and expressive. And for me, shoes like this just kind of, you know, bring out that creative side of fashion. So, but you guys let me know what you think about this trend. And yeah, we'll get into the next one. All right, the next shoe trend I'm gonna talk about um, is very, it's, it's super specific. Like, I feel like people are gonna love or hate this trend too, and that's sculptural heels. And I wasn't going to mention this one, but because I like it so much, and it kind of goes along the line of what I was talking about earlier with the fashion is art, and you know, the artsy and the artistic side of fashion that I love. And so, I, cause I just was doing research on these type of shoes and I just, every shoe that I've come, that I came across, I just loved. Cause it's like walking art, you know what I mean? Like, you know, art on your foot. So I don't have any, you know, many examples. I think I only have one example of this trend in my wardrobe, in my closet, and that's these. So when I say mean architectural heel, this is what I mean, like this is, just like a wooden ball here. Um, this could actually kind of go for like a little kitten heel actually. Um, so it's just a sling back shoe in like this pretty blue color, which I love. And it just has like this little ball detail. Like I said, like this little wooden little heel. And this is what I mean by architectural heel. It's the heel that's just different, right? It's a heel that is not like your normal heel, right? Like someone just threw on, you know, some sort of design or something on a heel. Um, but I just think it's really cute and just something different and I don't probably wear these shoes I need to start wearing these shoes more um, But again, you can wear these kind of shoes um, dressed up dressed down um, I like I said I prefer to wear something like this dressed down um, Because it is kind of a fancy shoe. I guess I could call it these I've had in my wardrobe for several years I got these from ASOS several years ago and I just love these I'm loving the fact that these shoe trends are you know a thing because a lot of these shoes that i'm sharing with you guys are shoes that i've had in my wardrobe for years so i'm super excited to like get these shoes out and start wearing them and styling them up but yeah so i love these shoes and i've been seeing like i said architectural or what do you call it sculptural heels just styled up 
you know, I think Lueve does a good job with this kind of shoe trend. And I think that's probably the brand that started all this because the way they, they're very much outside of the box kind of fashion. It's very artistic fashion and um, I just love that brand. So, um, but yeah, so I don't know. You guys let me know what you think about the whole sculptural heels vibe. And you know, if you can really get into that. Cause I feel like if you want to have fun with your fashion and you just want to kind of add a little something, something to your look or just add some fun, you know, do something different, you know, why not? Like think outside of the box. This is definitely much so a think outside of the box shoe. Um, but I just love shoes like this. I just think they're just so cute and artistic, but you guys let me know down in the comments what you think about it. So yeah, so we'll get into the next shoe trend. All right, and the next shoe trend I wanna talk about are PVC or transparent heels or shoes. And I know a lot of people, you know, this is kind of a controversial kind of shoe trend because I know a lot of people don't really care for this kind of shoe trend. And I actually saw, um, watched a YouTuber on here talk about um, these type of shoes and saying that you shouldn't wear these, that they make you look cheap. And you know, to each their own, I feel like, and with any of these trends to each their own as far as what you like and what you don't like. Everybody's taste is different. And I don't I don't agree that they make you look cheap. I feel like it's how you style the, the piece. Like anything can make you look cheap if you don't style it correctly. You don't know how to style it. So for me, I can say I kind of disagree with that because I feel like you can definitely make these look expensive. You know, the, you can definitely make these look you know cute and chic and sophisticated and not trashy because when you think of shoes like this right these clear or these transparent you know heels you think of like the stripper heels and i think that's why people feel like they look make you look cheap you know because strippers nothing against strippers or anything you know hey um but i just feel like people when they think of these shoes they think about strippers but i feel like again like it's how you style them so i want to share with you guys these and these are the ones that i have i don't remember where i got these from i don't know what this brand is i think i got these from misguided or maybe low miss lola i think um because I, I went through a little spell where i bought a lot of <laughs> a lot of shoes from miss lola and i feel like i got these from there but yeah so there's just a clear there, the whole shoe is clear. Like you can only, only thing you can see is the sole of this shoe. Um, and it's, it's a pretty comfortable shoe. Like it's not a shoe that I can say that I will wear, you know, for long periods of time, but it is a cute shoe and it has like a little strap so I can adjust the strap here. So a shoe like this, I feel like can really, you know, add a little something to the look. Like it's very simplistic and you definitely have to have your feet done when you wear a shoe like this because your feet are on display so if you have an issue about your feet or whatnot then it's probably not a good shoe to wear but i feel like you can dress it up so yeah so these are the first pair that i have and i have several so it kind of i was kind of debating about what to put in here and show you guys but um these are another one these are like a mule style and these are um they're clear but it's kind of hard to really see because they're colorful they're like this green tone and so um, I really love these I got these from ASOS and um, these were these are super fun shoes so um, and I feel like these too you can style these up and where you don't look so you know where your look doesn't look cheap it just depends on the rest of the stuff that you put together with this with this shoe you know because it can look cheap um, depending on what you're wearing and you can you know look cheap i don't know any other way to, to really burn that but yeah but i love them i think they're cute and again you know to each their own you know if you don't like them then fine but you know i like them i just think they're cute i don't know how many times i can say cute but you know everything is just you know up to you know your taste and so but i love them so um but you guys let me know what you think about pvc or like clear heels because like i said i know people either love them or they hate them but i think if you hate them i think it's really uh, just a matter of styling them i think if you figure out how to style them up i think you would like them so um but so yeah so that is the next shoe trend and that's pvc or clear heels All right, and number 10 and the final shoe trend that I want to talk with you guys about are platforms. I feel like I probably should have did platforms first um, because these shoes have been, you know, super trendy since I think last year, maybe the beginning of last year, maybe 2021. We started seeing platforms, especially the ones by Valentino and like Versace, you know, like the pink ones that um, Valentino is known for. Um, I love those shoes. I think they're so pretty and again kind of go with that whole architectural or sculptural kind of shoe that I just love or I should say artistic shoe that I love. 
Um, so I have a few examples of some that I got. I think prior to they being these shoes being trendy, I'm, I'm just gonna be honest, because you know I, I believe in being honest and being transparent on here. I was not a sh you know I didn't have any of these type of shoes until they became trendy, and I wanted to try them out because that's what I love about trends is that you can kind of change up your fashion or change up your look and try out new things because I'm all about trying new things and you know if I don't like it then okay you know fine then it's all it's no big deal right it's just a shoe so um, yeah I definitely started buying these once they became you know super huge and trendy so the first pair I have are these and they're like in this bold bright you know green tone um, I love green green has become my new favorite color and these can kind of actually double too for like a Mary Jane style shoe as well but Specifically for this trend, we're going to talk about the platform. And this is a, it's not the biggest platform that I've ever seen. Because um, I have seen some huge platform shoes. But these are, for, you know, uh, you know, good enough for me. And they are comfortable because of the platform. Um, it looks like a super high heel that's hard to walk in. But when you think about it, they're probably really, if you add in the platform, they're probably maybe a four, four and a half, maybe five inch heel that you're really walking on. So they're comfortable and you know, the arch is not too bad. So I love these shoes and these are kind of like in the satiny type of fabric. So these I got from Zara last year. Uh, most of these I got last year actually, um, or most of the ones, all the ones I had in my wardrobe I got last year. So these I got from Zara and I wish they would have come in a pink color because I prefer the pink, although I love green. I also want to get them in pink too. So. Um, but these are just so cute and platform heels are, you know, my, remind me of the 70s. Um, so, um, but I love them. I think they're a comfortable shoe to wear, even though the heel is super high. Like I said, the platform makes it more wearable because it's taken off some of the discomfort. Um, and then the next little um, example I have are these. And these I got from ASOS. And these can also go with the whole metallic, you know, shoe trend that I was talking about earlier. But for this specific trend, I want to talk about the platform. So I love these. I love like a little bow detail. Again, these can go with another trend of bow details. Um, Cause this is this is a this is a shoe that has three trends in it. So like the bow detail, and then the platform, and then the metallic. So you'll be right on trend with these shoes. So. Um, but I love these. Again, they're comfortable. I got these from ASOS last year and they're just a cute shoe. Um, you can style these shoes up or down too, like with some jeans or now, you know, um, maxi skirts, like denim maxi skirts are, you know, popular right now and popping. And I have a few in my wardrobe and I would wear something like this with a denim maxi skirt. Um, and yeah, I think that would be cute, a cute look. So, but I don't know. You guys let me know what you think about platform heels. Like I know it's not for everybody, but I think it's a cute shoe to try out. You know, if you just want to, you know, do something different and kind of want to do something fancy. But I don't know. You guys let me know what you think about the whole platform heel shoe. So, um, but yeah, so that's number 10 and that's platform heels. All right, guys. So those are all the shoe trends that I want to talk about today. There are more. Um, I really actually had 15 that I was going to do, but I thought this video was already probably going to be long because I love shoes so much and I can talk on and on and on about shoes. So if you guys would like a part two where I do some more shoe trends, because like I said, this isn't an exhaustive list like there are so many other shoe trends that are out there that I've been seeing and just kind of keeping my eye out out you know out for um, if you guys want a part two let me know down in the comments I'll be happy to do that and also let me know which shoe trend you like the best or which of these shoe trends that you have in your wardrobe so um, I would love to you know know you know let's have a conversation down in the comments so I feel like you guys don't really comment on my videos but you know I do respond to all the comments that I get so don't be afraid to you know talk in the comment section you know um, let's make this more interactive instead of me just talking and you guys not you know saying anything you know let's make it interactive because that's what that's what I want to do I want to make you know my videos more interactive where I talk with you guys you know because we can't obviously talk in person um, but you know we can talk online so um, but yeah so you guys let me know which shoe trend that you guys like the most and yeah if you, I hope you guys like the video if you did don't forget to like and subscribe because it definitely helps my video and also check down in the description box because I will be putting down there some examples of all these shoe trends that I showed you guys like as far as like where you can you know shop and you know if you want to try some of these trends out I will like I said pop down in the, the description box some links for you guys to check out 
you know some ones that are i found perusing you know different retailers and whatnot so yeah don't you know just, yeah just be sure to check down there too so um but thank you guys so much for watching and i hope you enjoyed the video and i will see you guys in the next one all right bye guys